Hi, it's Ron Coleman. Welcome back to Law Learning. We talked about the constitutional and historical bases for the civil litigation system and the structure of the courts in the United States, state courts, federal courts, appellate courts, trial courts. Why do people go to courts in the first place? We addressed that somewhat in chapter three, lesson three, where we talked about the difference between criminal and civil litigation. That means that there is no government. Sometimes on Twitter, you probably know that I am on Twitter and they think this would be a great case for Ron Coleman. So you have to understand something. We are allowed to advertise what you don't want to do both ethically and as just a matter of personal professional dignity. And from what I understand, you might be the kind of lawyer who can help me solve it. A lot of people want to know whether they can bring a class action in order to solve what they correctly perceive as a very widespread form of harm that's being done by one party, such as a social media platform or the government, perhaps by censorship or by any number of things that seem, again, to affect a lot of people. Often it's public. It is a pretty common thing for us to find that what is being described is not a problem that can be rectified through the courts. This is a huge issue. Technically speaking, there is a concept called justice, justiciability. Can it be rectified through the use of the courts? There are a lot of legal sounding issues or things that involve the way courts work, the way governments work that actually don't belong in the courts and that the courts, you now have a judgment for $400,000. The person that we succeeded in getting that judgment against. I am divorced and I live in a van down by the river. This is called the Streisand effect, where you make the mistake of using a legal threat to prevent something from happening and it ends up becoming worse off for you than if you had not made the threat. Arba Streisand sued a photographer and a website claiming a violation of her privacy for publishing a photograph that included her home in a collection of 12,000 photographs of coastal erosion in California. She wanted $50 million and that picture became world famous. I'm not doing my job if I don't spend a good amount of time walking with you through the process of avoiding filing a lawsuit. Now this is Happy New Year, everyone.